So AI has been making some serious waves recently, and it feels like a lot of people have missed out on some really interesting updates. From OpenAI's new O1 models, to Snap's AR smart glasses, and even a semi-humanoid robot, you don't want to sleep on this. Today, we're diving into all the coolest AI news that's been happening. Trust me, this one's gonna be wild. Let's get into it. First up, we've got OpenAI. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of GPT-40, which is the go-to model for fast responses and basic conversational AI. But OpenAI has just released a whole new series called the O1 models, and these are designed to be smarter. How? Well, instead of responding super quickly like GPT-40, these models are actually designed to think things through a bit more. Yeah, they spend more time thinking before they answer, thanks to something called the chain of thought approach. This basically means they follow multiple steps, checking and rechecking themselves before responding, kind of like an advanced reasoning process. Now the catch? These models aren't widely available yet. They're in preview for Tier 5 OpenAI API accounts, which means you'd have to be spending at least $1,000 in API credits to even get access. But if you're in industries where you need serious brain power, think research, advanced problem solving, or even some high-level enterprise tasks, these models could be a game changer. Next up is Snap Inc. Yeah, that's right, the folks behind Snapchat are back with a new version of their AR spectacles, and this time, they're not just for snapping selfies. Evan Spiegel, Snap's CEO, has made it clear that they want to go head-to-head -head in the AR space. These new smart glasses are aiming to overlay digital images and filters onto the real world. You can imagine it like having an Instagram filter, but in real life. What's cool about this new version is that they're being targeted at developers for now. For $99 per month, developers can get their hands on these glasses and start creating apps and experiences specifically for AR. This is Snap's big play to eventually compete in the AR market, maybe even rival or replace smartphones down the line. But here's the thing, it's a tough market. Google Glass didn't really take off as expected, but Snap seems to believe that this time, with more refined technology and a better developer community, AR glasses could finally take center stage. All right, let's talk about Runway ML, a company that's doing some really exciting things in the world of creative AI. For those unfamiliar, Runway is an AI platform that lets creators generate videos, images, and even edit content using AI. Their big announcement recently is the release of Gen 3 Alpha, which is a huge step forward from their previous model. This upgrade boosts everything from fidelity to consistency and motion. In simple terms, the AI-generated videos just look and feel better. But that's not all. Runway is also partnering with some major players like Lionsgate, Getty Images, and even the Tribeca Film Festival. Yep, they're going big in the creative space, and they just raised $141 million to keep pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. So if you're a creative person, or just someone who loves experimenting with AI tools, Runway is definitely a platform you want to keep an eye on. Now, if you're into AI-powered video creation, Kling AI's latest release might just blow your mind. They've officially launched the Kling AI 1.5 model, and it comes with some pretty awesome upgrades. First off, Kling 1.5 can now generate videos in full 1080p HD, which is a massive jump from the 720p we had before. So if you're looking to create high-quality video content, Kling AI has got you covered. One of the standout features is something they call the motion brush. This lets you control up to six different elements within a video scene, so you can define exactly how characters or objects move. It's a level of control we really haven't seen before in AI-generated video tools. And the best part? There's no extra cost for the high-quality mode, which means you can create professional-grade videos without paying extra. Kling also improved image quality, making movements and compositions look smoother and more realistic. And last but certainly not least, Pudu Robotics has unveiled their new semi-humanoid robot, the Pudu D7. Now Pudu has already made a name for themselves with their service robots, but this is the first time they've ventured into the humanoid space. The D7 stands at 165 centimeters tall and weighs 45 kilograms, so it's about the height of an average person. What's really impressive though is its bionic arm, which has 30 degrees of freedom, 
meaning it's extremely versatile. They're planning to expand that to 50 degrees with an optional dexterous hand attachment. The D7 isn't just about looking cool though, it's super functional. It can carry up to 10 kilograms, which is perfect for industries like hospitality, and it has an 8-hour battery life, so it can work through an entire shift without needing a recharge. Plus, it has 360-degree movement and can even navigate slopes, which is a big deal for robots that need to operate in complex environments. With advanced AI and the ability to learn from its surroundings, this robot could seriously change the game for service industries. And that wraps up today's AI News Roundup. From OpenAI's Deep Thinking 01 models, to Snap's renewed push into AR glasses, and Kling AI's awesome video tools, there's no shortage of exciting developments in the AI world right now. And let's not forget about Pudu Robotics' humanoid robot. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Drop a comment down below and let me know which of these updates you're most excited about. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.